Before continuing with the shoulders, I just renaming the old um, fingers blend shape node. And now I'm starting with the shoulder with the low arm position. So I'm just focusing here on the silhouette and volume of this uh, shoulder area. When I'm happy with this pose, I'm just gonna rename it and I forgot to create the RBF node here. So I'm just gonna create it now and add this pose to the RBF. Later, the next pose will be automatically added because I have the RBF there. So now that the RBF is ready, I'm just going to go for the extreme up position. So this is not a realistic one in terms of uh, human possibilities to, to move the arm that, that high without moving the shoulder. But because it's a cartoon character, we want to have this pose just in case it's, it's needed. Also, um, working a little bit on the armpit, not only on the, on the shoulder area. Now I'm just going to do the uh, arms forward or front here i'm working from the interior of the of the shirt this is a good practice when you don't have access from the exterior to to smooth out or to move some points so it goes goes inside the the geometry and i'm just double checking so with three poses i think it's enough here now i'm moving to the to the shoulder i'm creating the rbf node so we don't need to add the poses later and now I'm just starting with the shoulders up and just moving the shirt and trying to fix this pinch there. So the process is just little by little and you will see later I, I just go back again to the pose and um, refine it. So now I'm just creating this extreme pose so I'm just creating like two poses that goes with the shoulder up to create a better transition and also control all the pos positions. I call this extreme. Now the interpolation is not so good. Uh, um, you need on the RVF at least like three or four poses to get nicer interpolation. When you have the first one or two, sometimes it's not so nice, this interpolation. So now it's the shoulder front. And now I'm checking again the other interpolation and I see that it's working better. Now I'm just working on the armpit again on the other poses. so. I keep my volume more consistent and doesn't bulge outside. Here I um, want to work on the um, shoulder blades so to get a feeling of something there, not just the volume moving, but a little pinch there so it gets more nicer volume. And now the shoulder down. So this is important when he's like moving down the shoulders. Again, it's a bit extreme the position, but it's really nice to have it on cartoon character so you can be more extreme on your poses. So, so you always want to go a little over the what will be the natural movement on the on this type of character. So it gets a, a bit more nicer later for the animator to, to go extremes. So I'm just brushing up all the volume. So basically I'm using the um, standard sculpt brush from Artisan and the move brush from Shapes. Now I'm just double checking and now I'm just doing the symmetry. So double checking my symmetry map, it's correct. So I need the shoulder there. And just creating the symmetry for everything. One more check and it's ready.